doing, however you spend your time, that tells you who you are. So think about what it is you like to create in your life experience. Once I look at how you commit your time, once I do an evaluation on how you spend your time, I can tell you exactly what you're committed to. People that say they have dreams or want to open a business or want to do something differently than what they're now doing, they don't like their jobs, they're unhappy, they're unfulfilled. People who say they want to improve their income level, look at how they spend their time. How they spend their time, the commitment of their time, how they use that, that will really tell the truth. People who said, I'd like to do better, but you don't find them in vocational or technical schools upgrading their skills and their knowledge, how they spend their time, that will tell you what's going on. People who say they want to normalize their weight, they want to be healthy, but every time you see them, they're eating, that will tell you that they're committed to being obese for the rest of their lives. People tell you they want to stop smoking and they're lighting up at that time. Folks that say, I want to stop drinking, and every time you're in their face, they're reeking with alcohol, that will tell you what's going on don't have to listen to what they say just watch what they do commitment shows up in your life in what you do on the other hand you can make the commitment to your life that you don't like the results that you have and that you're going to do something about it see that power is available to all of us people who look at life and decide i want something different for myself carol hatfield carol lives in Detroit, single mother, decided that she wanted to go into her own business, did not have enough money to do it. She wanted to have a health food store. She sold her car and used the money to start in a little storefront, a little hole in the wall. She rode to work on a bicycle. And then when she got enough money, she, she bought a motor scooter and did that for a long time. She's now a very successful person. She now has three health food stores. She said it was hard. It's a struggle, Les. She said, but I did it. She said, I made the commitment to do it, and I did it. Why is it that people are frightened by commitment? Because when you say the word commitment, that intimidates a lot of people. Why? Because it means you have to deliver. See, most people, you ask them, hey, look here, I'd like you to do this. They'll say, I'll try. I'll try means that is my escape clause when I don't come through. It's really a polite no. I don't have the courage to tell you no, so I'll tell you I'll try. Hey, look here, I need you to come to this meeting. I'll try. I say, what do you mean? You're going to lean toward the meeting? <laughs> so most people like to use that language. They don't want to commit themselves because commitment means, among many things, no excuse is acceptable. That's what it means, no excuse, that if you decided that you're gonna do this, if it becomes hard, then do it hard. If it's difficult, so what? If it's inconvenient, so what? See, a lot of people made a commitment to come here tonight, but they looked outside and said, it's rainy. The temperature dropped. It's cold outside. And they decide to give up on their commitment. And that's how people do it by their dreams. They don't honor their commitment to themselves. Let me tell you what happens when you, when you don't keep your commitment. Number one, it begins to deplete your, your self-esteem and it erodes your self-image. It weakens your faith in yourself. You don't feel good when you don't keep your commitment. The other thing is that you begin to develop weak relationships with people. People begin to realize they can't depend upon you. They can't rely on you because you won't keep your word. You've established that kind of reputation. Just think, what would your life be like if you decided to keep your commitments? What will all of our lives be like if we decided to keep our commitments? That we decided to do the things that we said that we were going to do? That we wouldn't even speak it unless we were going to do it? If we decided just for a week, just see what your life can be like. Just let's do it for a commitment to make, make it a seven-day commitment that I won't say I will do anything unless I'm going to do it. And find out what your life will be like. Let me tell you what, if you follow it through, if you keep your commitment to the commitment, at the end of the seven days, you'll feel strong and powerful. Because by honoring your commitment, each time that you do, that empowers you. Whatever discipline that is required, whatever it is that you must do, so I'm suggesting, number one, commit yourself to live in the present. Many of us are not able to move forward and develop and manifest our greatness 
because we spend so much time looking back or worrying about the future. Seize the moment. See, you cannot go into the future and manifest your greatness when you have various things in your life that's blocking you. Let's look at how we can begin to keep our commitments. Remembering what Dr. Robert Anthony said about results. When you keep your commitments, you're able to produce some different kinds of results in your life. So how can we keep our commitments? And do we keep all commitments? No, we don't. You will not be at 100%. However, you will have a greater percentage rate of, of maintaining your commitments to yourself, whatever those things might be. If it's going into business, if it's, if it's changing a habit that you know that works against you, if it's overcoming self-destructive behavior, if it's retraining your thinking, if it's reinventing yourself, if it's trying to begin to design your relationship differently, all of us have the possibility by focusing and really harnessing our attention and concentrating on it, we really have available to us the power to honor our commitments in those particular areas. So number one, make it priority. So if you want to honor your commitment, whatever you decide that you're going to do, make sure you make it important. Make sure it is priority. Keep it before you. The other thing is, Whatever that you want to do, whatever you want to begin to create and beginning to manifest your greatness and, and strengthening your level of commitment, and it's, it's really exercising your will, find something that you want to do on your goal, one action step, but make sure it stretches you, that it challenges you, but it's doable, that you can do it. When I decided to begin to manage my money differently, and I started saving 5% of my money, then I increased it to 10% then to 15%. So now I have disciplined myself to live off 75% of my income. I took discipline to do that, but I started watching how I was spending my money. I started keeping a log and following myself. So you want to begin to find something that is manageable, that you know that you can do. The next thing in beginning to, to keep your commitments to yourself have some friends that will hold you accountable, that won't let you off the hook, that won't tolerate anything less than the best from you. People that will support you in this new way of being, in this new state of consciousness. The other thing is that important is have a contingency plan. See, many times when you make a commitment to do something, there are some other variables that will happen that you can't control or you perhaps did not think about. So you want to have some other plans going on. You want to become creative. See, most people don't keep their commitments because when something goes wrong, they just stop. They don't have a contingency plan. So they don't know what to do next. Start being creative. If you challenge yourself, many times they say, I don't know what to do. And I always ask myself, but if you did know what to do less, what will it be? That activates another part of my mind. I start thinking about the possibilities and just experimenting. But many, many of us just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself, push yourself, make yourself come up with something. Use your imagination. And what you will find is that you know more than you realize that you know. That you're more creative and more resourceful than you realize that you are. And as you do that, the more you do it, the easier it will become. At first, it's going to be a struggle. And after you get into a certain level of consciousness, you will ask yourself, like, how is it that I didn't see this before? at the level that I'm managing my business now, they say consciousness is what we are. I literally look at myself and say, how is it that I didn't do this before? Why is it that I couldn't see this before? And the reason that I didn't see it before, because I didn't challenge myself. I didn't put myself out here. See, the reason that most of us go through life never discovering our true greatness, literally walking, breathing corpses, the uncommitted life isn't worth living. Why? Because it doesn't produce anything. See, you only make things happen. Your life only counts. You only make a difference when you are committed. When you make a commitment with your life. That's the people that make a commitment with their lives. The people that make a commitment to their customers. The people that make a commitment to their families, to their relationships, are the people that make the greatest impact in life.